In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brush tool in another way in Luminar 2018 to apply a filter. We're going to use the dehaze filter in this example. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over to the Add Filters button and we're going to type in DEH and add the dehaze filter. Next, I'm going to expand the filter. And my focus in this is to apply this to the sky. So I'm going to get the sky looking the way that I want. And then I'm going to click on the brush icon here on the dehaze filter. And I'm going to choose brush. Now in this example, I want to apply this in layers or steps, meaning I don't want it applied all at once. So I'm going to come up to the opacity slider and I'm going to slide that down to about 50%. And I'm also going to change the softness and I'm going to drag that down to about 75%. And finally, I'm going to come to the set brush size and I want a pretty good size here. I'm going to increase it to this size. I'm doing 218. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to brush onto the, onto the sky. In the previous example, I turned the mask on so I could see where it was being applied. In this example, I'm going to paint on the filter and the result I see will be the filter being applied. So let's continue with this process. I'm going to continue and drag it over here. I'm going to let up and just see what it's doing. And you'll notice that as I paint over it again and again, because I've reduced the opacity, it's starting to darken. And this is what gives me the control in this approach to be able to apply more to one area. I think I need some more over here on the left. So I'm going to continue to paint. I'm holding down the mouse and I'm dragging over that area and I'm going to continue. Now let's take a look and see what I've actually applied in the way of a mask and we'll do that by clicking on the show mask button here. And that gives you an idea of how much I've applied and how much I've applied where. Now the other thing we could do is let's say that we wanted to apply this down into the hillside here. I'm going to change the mask size and this time I'm going to use the keyboard keys, the left and right bracket. So the left bracket will let me make it smaller from the keyboard and then I'm going to apply this here just as an example. So there you go, I'm going to turn the mask on again, show you that I applied it. And that's another way that you can use the brush tool to apply a filter to your images.